Today I'm going to show you how to make a comforting bowl of apple cinnamon oatmeal. This bowl of oatmeal with tender pieces of apple, hints of cinnamon and clove is perfect for the cooler weather ahead. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce myself. I am Gian of GianCanCook.com and if this is your first time here, thank you for joining and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. The first thing I'm going to do is dice an apple and I am just cutting around the core of the apple and I am using the skin as well. It actually adds a nice texture to the oatmeal. And then I'm going to dice these pieces into really, really small cubes because this is going to take about 15 minutes to cook. So I want to make sure that the pieces of apple tenderize in that time. Remember, this is a breakfast dish. We do not want to spend a ton of time in the mornings trying to get something on the table. And I'm using a gala apple. It's one of the sweeter varieties of apple. Any sweet apple will do. You can use a Macintosh, a Honeycrisp. I would probably stay away from the Granny Smiths because it is quite tart. And I started making this dish for my youngest son. He's four and he will not eat the oatmeal plain. But if I put apples in the oatmeal, he loves it. I do not add walnuts to his, but I do add it to my husband's oatmeal. For this dish, I'm going to be using old fashioned oats, but you will also find instant oats in your supermarket. And this takes about a minute or so to cook. So you will have to adjust the cooking time. This is the old fashioned oats that we're going to use today. This takes about 20 minutes or so to cook. And then you also have the steel cut oats, which takes at least 30 minutes to cook. And in my blog post, I'm going to tell you how to cook it using those three types of oatmeal. And I will have the link below in the description box over to my blog post. To a pot, I've added the old fashioned oats and I'm also adding the apples that I've diced along with clove, cinnamon stick, salt, and water. I'm also going to add milk and you can use any milk that you prefer, whether it's a nut milk or whole milk or skim milk. And I'm going to stir that all together and then I am going to put the heat on medium and bring this to a boil. And this doesn't take too long to make. If you have some time in the morning, some extra time, you can absolutely make this because I would make this in between school runs. I drop one son to school, come back home, make the oatmeal before my other son goes off to preschool so he can have this because my eldest son does not eat oatmeal. So. I just do this with that little bit of time that I have in the morning. Now you can add more liquid or less depending on how you like your oatmeal. Some people like their oatmeal really runny, others like it thick. This is the way in which we like it. So don't let anybody tell you how to eat your oatmeal. Do it the way in which you like to do it. Now, once the apples are tender, the oats are cooked. This is about 15, 20 minutes. I am going to sweeten it and I'm using brown sugar. You can also use maple syrup or any type of sweetener that you prefer. Be sure to remove the clove and the cinnamon stick before serving. And all that's left to do is to serve this up. I'm going to place it into a bowl, top it with extra cinnamon, some walnuts for crunch and just a little bit of maple syrup. This is optional, of course, and enjoy. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. 